Welcome back to Morning Baraka. Nutrition. Yep, fantastic. Well, it's what we need early morning, isn't it? A bit of energy boost. Energy booster. And uh, that's what you're going to be doing, which we're going to talk about today, is about yeah. energy levels. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to then create a smoothie for us. Inshallah, for inshallah. Um, okay, so in terms of what's, what's up for today then? What's your... We've got a whole host of ingredients. Okay. We won't go into the portion sizes because they, that can be found on the Imam Hussein TV website. Sure. Excuse me. Facebook page. However... This is energy. Yeah. Energy is one of the things important. That's what fuels the body. So this is a really key And um, that's actually, aspect. In the, from an Islamic perspective, it's what we're meant to eat for, isn't it? That the, the body needs its energy mm -hmm. and what it is is a vessel for the soul. So right. to make sure that we have the right nutrients and the right balance so that our soul can be nurtured in, in, a, in a healthy environment. Right. And to carry out those halal activities and duties that we have throughout Absolutely. The, so the working day with or 24-hour day. With your ingredients, mm -hmm what how will that benefit us um there is so much to talk about you have your uh nuts mm -hmm. you have your chia you have your sunflower seeds uh, almond milk nutrition in the pineapples we've got uh what have we got we got cucumber apple spinach you know it's all there okay. it is all there and what's what's I'm good really about looking them? forward what's to this uh, the vitamins the vitamins mm. the proteins the carbohydrates, the right amount of sugars, mm -hmm. the healthy fats. You know, we're always going on about fats, healthy fats. Okay, so in terms of what's, there's a whole array of food here. Yeah. So we've got, like you said, spinach. Superfood spinach is actually. Is it? Yeah. So what's a superfood? Super food? What's so superfoods are those that are, even the, in small portions, they give out a high nutritional um, content. Like, you know, ginger, certain foods are, 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 are like the okros, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. Spinach comes under that category as well, under mm. Superfoods, you know, you've got acidic foods and yeah. alkaline foods. So it's one of those alkaline foods that helps to regulate the body's acid levels. How often should we be eating those kind of foods? S spinach is something that y I don't think you can eat too much of. I mean, it's just ah. it's one of those type of foods. So Even a little bit, maybe mm. portion wise, a little yeah. in some rice or with vegetables or you know. Um, even just with a bit of salad, you okay. know, raw spinach. Raw doesn't have to yeah. be cooked, but yeah, spinach is one of those special foods. Right. So, and then what else have we got? got avocado. We have avocado. So some more healthy fats, energy. That's yeah. That's got quite a high energy level, and it often says about the fat. So what? That's good fat. Yeah, the good fats. So it doesn't matter if you have sort of one a day. It's not going to be putting on weight in the wrong places. No, no, because there are there, you know um, there are you know this this thing that people talk about um, in terms of what can be risk of create risks of heart disease and yeah. things like this, but. Uh, Avocados, no. Avocados are good for you. Know, food. we have shifts in the food science, yes, and you know, yes. but at the moment, the cycle we're in, at least, you know, avocados are good. Okay, because avocado, obviously, you can the healthy cholesterol, you know. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So avocado is good. Obviously, it's it's just not internally, but externally, it's not as good for skin as well. Yeah, as it's that's, so right, that's right. Um, and what else? Apples, apples. Good old-fashioned apples. Apple fiber. day keeps the doctor yeah, away. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice, good old-fashioned fiber in your yeah. apples as well. Okay, and uh, what else is there? An apple good for fiber is good for your body because we need fiber mm -hmm. is part of our, you know it helps our digestion okay so apples are good for fiber you said so yeah. what's good what's fiber so one good? of the things that, that um, digestion right mm -hmm. so yeah apples are good for for digestions avocado is good for cholesterol healthy fats okay so generally every day how much should we be eating of sort of Fruits per I day. would say a, m a moderate amount, but when you're talking about propor portions yeah. of food, nutritionist dietitians are the ones that can, you know, there's websites you can go to, the NHS website. Okay. Yeah, they can give you, you know, direct portion size for certain types of foods. Okay, so let's get cracking with this. Uh, All right. So we have, voila, we have a large container today. All right. And uh, I'm looking forward to this one because it's different, you know, energy levels. Let's start off with a knife to cut our avocado or we behind you we also uh, yeah i have a cloth as well um yeah so avocado half avocado this is a uh, children don't try this at home without mummy's supervision for our younger viewers i always use my cutting board <laughs> <laughs> no i'm i'm uh, a bit of a maverick as you know oh goodness all right so here we go so we have yeah avocado i love avocado yeah um, I love it myself. Tend salad. to think of it more with um yeah, with savory as yeah. opposed to with, you know, pineapple and stuff. But you know, it's it's a flexible food. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Bosh, bish. Right. All right. And we have a little bit of spinach. So what's the benefits of, you said about spinach being yeah, superfood? Yeah. You know, we, um, our body naturally produces certain levels of acid. Yeah. And so sp foods like this, spinach, are good at sort of um, regulating or... So um, I make alkaline, um, they're alkaline foods, right? I make spinach um, and potato curry. Cool. And um, cool. my friends really love it. But is that the amount you have to cook it? Is does anything nutritionally remain when you're sort of cook, um, yeah, definitely. It it's not the same as if you're eating it raw. I mean, that's this yeah. is like when you freeze or you put certain foods in tins. Mm -hmm. um, you lose, you know, mm -hmm. you lose a little, but you don't lose that much. That it's you know it's spoiling the food or whatever it is. Okay. So still be getting some out of it. So you're chopping the. I just take it. I prefer to take the skin the skin off of the cucumber, although there is a lot of nutrition in the skin. It doesn't you know the. Yeah. Kind of acquired taste, right? Is it? Well, I I, I don't <laughs> like it. I'm just being biased. Okay. <laughs> so you've got cucumber. Yes, yeah, so we've got our cucumbers. We have some almond milk to add. I know there's people at home. Oh, hold on, no, cucumber. Sounds different, but it does, it? this is about energy. This is about yeah. you know boosting the energy levels and. So almond milk, I mean, that's coming as quite a substitute for regular cow's milk. Is yeah. it good generally to have for people who haven't got intolerances towards milk? Is it generally a, good a lot of people just like it just for the flavour? Oh, right. It's still got nutritional value to it, but mm. people just some people just prefer it. What are the nutritional values? And like, what's it good for? Just like almonds or? Well, you know, nuts in general are, are, yeah. are good and they have certain f uh, protein content, so. Right. And protein builds muscle mass, right? Yeah, in the it helps with, yeah, especially after exercise, you need to re repair the muscles with, with protein. Okay. So what are you adding in there? So we've got uh, pineapples. We've added some pineapples and also. Ooh, what's that? Some uh, nuts, almond. Uh, almond butter. Almond butter. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I was searching <laughs> for the right. Right, okay. so a bit of almond butter in there as well. Here it goes. Because that looks really rich. You're looking for energy. Yeah. So is it is it quite different from peanut butter, almond butter? Yeah, you know, nut, nuts have different values, right? They, yeah. have, they have different values in terms of percentage of fiber, protein, whatever. Yeah. So almonds are a different nut, and, and nuts are also associated with. Like walnuts are supposed to be good for thinking, you know, like different yeah. nuts are kind of have their association. How scientifically proven this is, I love so them. In terms of the, if you don't, if you have an intolerance to sort of nuts and things, you can omit that, can't you? From definitely, the definitely. Okay. Please, please do. Yeah. I ins we insist. Okay. Because a lot of people really have bad nut allergies. So what, what's the substitute for that then? Like, what can people use? Anything um, think of? Not off the top of the, the the head. You might have to just skip it. You might just have to mm. just skip it. Okay. So the apple, you're chopping up. But possibly, you know, maybe even coconut oil. Oh, okay. So oh. I'll cut the apples up just to... Um, so you, you don't mind the apple sure. skin? No, that's a bit so different. But yeah, I was just... I'm a like bit cucumber. biased. I'm biased about oh, cucumber no, skin. It's right? an odd one, isn't it? Yeah, probably from my childhood. You know, okay. <laughs> so an apple sandwiches. is going in. Yep. This is quite a... Are you going to say concoction? I am going to say that. That's exactly what I'm thinking. And what's that's going in? And I think this is our final ingredient for the day. The uh, chia seeds and our sunflower seeds. Okay. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. Pretty cool. Is that all? And yeah, that's it. I don't think we need any ice water because there's the almond milk. Mm -hmm. So we'll... Um, so you're going to give it a whiz now? We'll give it a shake and a stir. Gosh. So that isn't really something you can make in five, I mean, you've done it in a few minutes, but... Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah. We've I've done this before, but, you know, for many of you, take your time. Okay. All right, here we go. So, wow. <laughs> that looks like Very a... different. I mean, just take it off because... It uh, yeah. It it's not like what we're coriander. used to, right? <laughs> it looks like coriander mashed up at the moment. <laughs> You're expecting, uh, you're expecting for me no, to put this in a pot, right, and, um, make, um, um, and stew it after? I make a mint chutney, and that looks like mint chutney at the moment. Ah, right. Yeah, all right. so, you know. Are you pretty dab hand around the kitchen? Am I sorry? Are you a dab hand around the kitchen? Oh, uh, yeah, you know. I, I do, I love cooking. I find it very therapeutic. Uh -huh. um, lots to do, lots to do. Yeah, and it's, it's quite relaxing, actually.
And you always enjoy the sort of when the family eat your food and they enjoy it. I think it really brings a sort of wholesome feeling in the home. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm assuming that's the almond butter, isn't it? That's it's on the side. Sticking to Sticky, the sides. Uh, wow. The so nuts that, is that done? Yeah. Yeah. It is essentially. Okay. You don't want to. You don't want to obliterate it. Rich constituency. Mm. It looks good. It looks great, actually. Let me just give it one more, as they say, just for safety. The good thing is they're quite. It's quite quick to make. So I think if you if you were to have something in the day and you meal plan, you could also yeah. cut the have the ingredients ready, couldn't you? And then plan your smoothies. And for the, in a, you know, it, this could be taken in the middle of the day for an energy booster. Even in, mm. I, I'm thinking in the morning, mm -hmm. on the go, hit one of these. Really? In the first thing? Power walk to the train station. Yeah. Because we're trying to keep, keep movement going and stuff. So we, you know, a little power walk and, mm. and keep it moving. Or, you know, l if you've had a healthy, nice big breakfast and, yeah. and, and you find yourself flagging, you could make one of these in the middle of the day for mums on the go. Okay. You know, going to go back to pick up the so little one from nursery or something like that, one of these, before you go and pick up the little one because you're going to need your energy, right? Yeah. You need to be quite brave to try this one, I think. It looks quite... Um, it's, it's full of nutrition, and that's what we have to remember. <laughs> that's how you're selling it to us, okay. I wonder if... Uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much. Mm. Let's see what this All is. All right, let's get the lid on this. I was like what do you what do you, what do you expect the taste spill. to be like? I mean, just one of those. It's a really surprise. We, sh uh, sh we should have called it energy surprise because yeah, it's going to be a raw. If you it's haven't had this before, it's a, it's the spinach oh, and know. the uh, spinach and the pineapple, which I find a bit of an odd mix. Okay, one, two, two three. three. Go, Bismillah. <laughs> mm. That is different. It's in a quite. No, you know what. Actually, it's as, different. As, as odd as the ingredients are, it tastes more savoury, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Not sweet. The so the nice flavour, nice texture. I can taste the spinach. I'm a lover of spinach, so it's very nice. But w one of the things is that if we had time when we could blend this down to a really, really smooth texture, that would even make it more so? awesome. Yeah. I quite like the bit. I think you can taste the sunflower seeds because they're, they're it's ground, but there's still a bit of a crunch to it. There's a little crunch in there. I prefer smooth. You see, I right. prefer smooth, but you know, some might like crunch. This is medium, medium smooth or medium crunch. I like smooth, mm. but it tastes you know, amazing. I think it's the apple you can taste a bit of a crunch to as well, right? The, the, the apple is, a, is, the, is, is, is about the over... Mm. that overarching aroma and taste of apple mm. and this is wonderful for the morning as i said after lunchtime if you want to pick me up yeah it's but very, very definitely very definitely definitely um, one for the mornings you know what's interesting is that um you look at the ingredients and you kind of think really what what is that going to taste really like? you yeah. looked worried you did look worried you looked <laughs> a little worried. apprehensive um but that was actually not too bad no i think no, it's no, no. uh you know if you know that the the um, energy levels of it and it's nutritionally good for your mm -hmm. body I think you'd, you'd be quite happy to have that and like it's I said that spinach that superfood that spinach yeah Ooh. you can feel that I think you'd g give you a good kick in the start yeah. of the day yeah. fantastic so anything else that you'd sort of um, you would, what would you think about something adding to that probably uh, coconut oil ah. probably coconut okay. oil that yeah, would yeah, probably yeah, be quite yeah, interesting yeah, yeah. give it, it a little bit of mm. a little bit of body well how would that be good to sort of Coconut is um, is an energy food, isn't it? It's a, mm. it's, a, it's a really good food for for the intestines, for mm -hmm. the internal. It's um, one of those special foods, coconut. In fact, the price of just as how that reflects the, um, the nutritional industry. Yeah. Coconut. The price of coconut water has soared in recent years because it's now discovered something that you know in places like the Far East, yeah. uh, you know, Caribbean, that people have been taking coconut for ages. Right. And it's got all these natural is properties. Is it quite um, an, a vital ingredient in, in the base in lot of, of food? food? In a lot of base foods, right. or just the milk itself to drink, or the, the jelly, um, mm. you know, the, the, in the large green coconuts. And very rich and filling foods. Yeah. But now, um, you know, the, the America, Britain. Places like this, they've caught on, yeah, and so the price is, yeah, yeah, as it does, yeah, you know. Um, well, it's interesting because there's a hadith from Imam Jaffa Sadiq, and he says yes um, that mm -hmm. one should smell an apple before eating it. Have you ever smelt an apple before eating mm. it? 
Maybe the I'm thinking I haven't, but I'm thinking the aroma does have you know like aromatherapy, so yeah. it smells of things. Yeah. I mean, you, you can imagine walking in a marketplace or something, you smell something, yeah. and, it, and it affects your mood. Or so, you know, nice smells, foods. You come indoors, or the smell of fresh fruit. You come indoors, and mum's cooking something that you know it sets a mood. So I can I can I can appreciate mm. that one about smelling an apple, and maybe yeah. um, not taking for granted what the gifts from Allah. You yeah. know that it's like. But I think natural fruit, natural fruit. I know when we've been to um, Middle East, the fruit there, because of I suppose of not being sprayed by so many um, pesticides, it has such a strong aroma, sweet, and you can actually smell the you know strawberries and the grape. Everything's amazingly you know beautiful, and um, and I think with apples as well. But pine, I've, I've smelled melons. Mm -hmm. I think if you smell the base of the melon, you can actually get the sweetness of it and how sweet the fruit will be. So it's amazing what you can, what your nose can pick up. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you so much. That was interesting and uh, definitely one to try. Pleasure, I pleasure. I really enjoyed that one, um, actually. It was a challenge because it's different. Yeah, and there's quite a few ingredients, aren't there? So a, few, a few. You did have me worried when you're cutting the avocado with your hand, I must say. That's a bit of a <laughs> risk there, but um, that's all we've got time for um, oh, today, anyway. Um, so next up, we have um, the politics show with Dr. Zahir and Amy, and they're talking about nationalism.